Ohio YouTube, Thunderblade in the area. Okay, so this is a follow-up to the, the other video that I was talking about what happened to Thunderblade and what's going to happen, what's next. So, uh, I teased the new prototype concept, but now I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about what's going to happen. So, Thunderblade, the old concept now, okay, let's talk the 2018 concept, was a friction drive, which means the motor has a specific part that is in contact to the wheel. So this makes the wheel turn, okay, the motor turn, and by friction, it makes the wheel turn. It was made so, because it was the lightest possible way to have a lot of torque, that's why Thunderblade was so lightweight, okay? But there were drawbacks to that system, right? Like I talked in the earlier video. The main thing was uh, it didn't go well with water. So if you went through a puddle, it would just spin. Friction drive is the lightest and simplest drive system possible for Thunderblade. I chose that drive system because it would be fast and lightweight, but it had other benefits as you could, you could skate freely because it was not in contact with the wheel, okay? And when you actually push the button on the controller to accelerate, it would latch again and then you could go. So it was very, very, very good from that perspective, but if if you think about it would have a lot more maintenance you have to, to change that part that goes in friction with the wheel it it would make the the wheel wear faster so you get lightweight you get torque you get speed but you get more maintenance and you can't you can't skate on wet surfaces also back back in 2015 17 we didn't have hub motors that were strong enough to push a whole person, okay? They kind of were appearing back then, and now you have a lot of skateboards, electric skateboards, that have really good hub motors. You have double hub, hub motors, you have single hub motors, and you have even skates with four hub motors. So you could theoretically get Thunderblade and four, four hub motors, right? One in each wheel and you have like a beast. But the problem with inline skates is where you put the battery, where you put the electronics, is so, it's everything so much smaller. You don't have the, the board real estate, okay? What I'm going to do next, okay? I'm going to explain to you the next concept in detail right now okay uh why we're why i'm going for a hub motor it's mainly because it's maintenance free it's easier to build right now you you need less moving parts and it is weather weather resistance so you could go for puddles you could go theoretically ride in somewhat wet conditions like you, you couldn't drive uh, dive it in the water but you could go through light puddles okay so i'm gonna, gonna explain to you right now what's about the next concept and all the new ideas that are going onto it okay so here is the drawing that i, uh, I put on the other video okay so you can see now you, we have hub motors. The hub, the motor will be here on the back wheel. I will make a video explaining in depth why it's on the back wheel, not in the front wheel. Some people have asked me this. The main reason is if you put the, the motor on the front wheel, when you turn, so usually when you turn with two wheeled skates, you have to lift a little bit of the front wheel to be able to turn. So if the motor is accelerating when you do the turn, when you make the turn, it will like spin, like woo, 
Ooh. And then you will, you will probably fall. Or you just like uh, wear your tires very, very fast. So, okay. So, the hub, the hub motor will be here. I have the hub motor on the back wheel. And I will have the batteries right here. Okay. So, we have the batteries here. Right behind your heel. Okay. So, if you see it from behind... We have a lot of space here to put the batteries. Okay, so what's next? So we have the hub motor here, okay? And then we have the batteries right here. It makes possible for this, uh, this beautiful curve here. Like, I do like, I do like the, the frame doing a curve like this. But the, one of the other features we will have in this concept is the self-lacing sneak in. So you're going to use your own shoes. You're going to put your foot here. So like, let's just draw a sneaker here, right? So you have a sneaker here. <laughs> I just terrible. I'm just terrible drawing, sorry. And you're like here. And then you put here and then this little wires. Still wire. And then you put here and then this little wires, steel wires. And we have a motor around here it will just wind it right here, right? Okay. And then electronically, this will shut. And then we have this. Like your foot would be around here. So it's what it should be e very, very easy to just uh, put them in and get them out. You, you wouldn't need to sit down or stuff like that. So it would be like much, much easier. Okay, and the other great feature is, since I have a hub motor here, I can, I can have brakes, of course, but we can actively uh, make the motor locked. Like, if you need to go upstairs, you just hit the, the parking brake, okay? And then when you hit the parking brake, this wheel will be completely locked. It will not turn at all, like no. So if it's not turning at all, you can go upstairs or go inside a store, or maybe you were just waiting for the, the traffic sign to open and you don't want to be, um, to be focusing in your technique to be stopped. Sometimes it's the light, maybe you're on a slight hill or something, like you're on a slight hill and you want to talk to someone and then you just lock your wheels and then you will not fall down so this is one of the 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 great features i think well, a lot of people would uh, will be happy with and of course this new feature and then there are other details like the LED lighting here, which can be RGB. We can change them on a possible smartphone app. And we can even put some lights up front to like brighten the, the, the streets. So you have the pros. It will be maintenance free. You can ride on wet. It will be easy, easy to, to, to wear. Right, and with be stylish. But this design also has a lot of cons. So the main con here is weight. Okay, I can't, I can't make this, I can't make, make up for the hub motor weight. A hub motor is way heavier than the friction drive system that I had before. So I didn't use it. So this skate will be heavier. I might have a problem with speed, like, with two hub motors, I might be able to put up to, let's say, around 20 miles, miles per hour, which is 32 kilometers. But I don't think I can make, I don't think it's easy. It will not be possible to make uh, around, I don't know, 40 or 45 kilometers, okay? I don't think it's possible with two hub models at this stage right now, but 
Really? Really? This, this is good enough. Okay? Most people can't skate at that speed. It's kind of scary going up to 40. The old concept would go up to 40 and it was very scary. <laughs> so, okay. So that's it. We have pros and pros and cons about the new design. So what do you think about the new design? Please, 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 please put your comments right here. If you think it's beautiful, if you think it's ugly, if you think it's nice, if you think it's stupid, I don't care. Just put it on the comment. I will. So yeah, what do you think about the new prototype concept? Like, I don't care if you like it or not, but please, please give me your feedback. Put on the comments, okay? This is stupid or this is absolutely genius. This is beautiful. This is ugly. I don't care for speed. I care for comfort. What do you guys think, okay? I'm listening to you. And I need to talk to you about how we are going to build it, okay? And if you want to know how we're going to build it and how you can help me because no money. If you want to help me, if you want to know how it's going to be made, please click on the next video. Here I will talk about how we are going to make it happen, okay? Main teaser is, so yeah, watch this.